بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين إن شاء الله we are going to have very brief reflection on chapter Al Asr. Uh, this is a chapter that we are all familiar, so it would be good that we try to understand it better so that when we recite it in Salat or outside Salat, we have a better appreciation. It is mentioned that. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam said Man qara'a wal asr fi nawafilhi ba'athahu allahu yawm al-qiyamah mushriqan wajhuh rahikan sinnuh qariratan aynuh hatta yadkhul al-jannah Whoever recites surat al-asr in his or her nawafil Commented daily prayers. Then the result would be that if a woman, if a committed person, a God fearing person recites this surah, and of course, as Ayatollah Makaram says in Tafsir al Munaymin, recites and acts upon it, then Allah on the day of judgment would resurrect him but while his face or her face is bright and shining and his mouth is happy and his or her eyes are uh, at peace are joyful till he or she enters heaven so it's a very good surah to be uh, reading reciting reflecting it uh, starts with it starts with Allah soaring by Al Asr. Asr in Arabic originally means to squeeze. Osara means the essence of something that you squeeze, like you know, they say also for juice, asir. So Either because we are somehow squeezed in our life because of the pressures that we receive, or because Al Asr means afternoon. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by, for example, Fajr. We have uh, in the Quran mention of Subh. So maybe also it is a reference to afternoon. Maybe it is reference to a particular age, like age of the advent of Islam, or some people said age of coming of Imam Mahdi, or can be a combination. But what is important is that it's an emphasis on the element of time. Time and space are two important aspects of our life in this world. Where we live, and when we live. These two are very much determining our experience in life. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that by the time or by the age or by the afternoon <inaudible> truly mankind Human beings, men, women, old, young, Westerners, Easterners, all are in loss. So this is the general condition. Except those who have faith and do righteous deeds. They enjoin each other to observe the truth. They enjoin each other to observe the patience. So all are in loss except people who have four things. Iman, faith, amal saleh, righteous deeds, 
تباسی بالحق to advise each other to enjoin each other to observe the truth and تباسی بالصبر to advise each other to observe patience inshallah in the next episode we go into the details of these four and try to explain how we can save ourselves from loss by having these four Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen